Thursday, 82 Monday, 82 today as well. So that morning drive, clouds and fog, that will burn off. We will see sunshine later on. Chuck and Denise, back to you. All right, Rach, thanks very much. Well, with Governor Gray Davis fighting for his job, who is waiting just to slip right into his place? Political analyst Peter Matthews is back now to talk about some of the possible hopefuls and who has a real shot at taking over. Just a moment ago, Laurel Erickson ran down a long list of people who are vying for that job. And I guess we should start with talking about the man who sort of foot the bill for this recall, and that's Daryl Issa. What are his chances? Uh, Daryl Issa may have a few problems because he's had some problems in the past when he was younger. They'll bring that up in negative campaigning. The strongest candidates are Arnold Schwarzenegger and Richard Reardon. In fact, Reardon will be the strongest if he runs, but he said he won't run if Arnold runs. So uh, you see, Richard has already been, uh, Reardon's been able to get Democratic support in Los Angeles. He was mayor for two terms here. He can cross over votes. And Arnold Schwarzenegger has the Kennedy family. He's married to Maria Shriver Kennedy, and he's considered a moderate Republican as well. He was also successful no, with a child the child after school program uh, so that's all in his favor so is it just strictly based on name value or experience uh, i mean if it goes with arnold it's right. got to be just name value with arnold would be mostly name and also you know his after school program uh, got him a, a certain amount of substance as well but uh, reardon has issues uh, good positive issues based on the fact he was mayor of los angeles for a long time peter so of those it'll two work both ways uh, of those two which is more likely to attract the voters in northern california I think Richard Reardon will be the stronger candidate out of the two, honestly, if he does run and if Arnold doesn't run. But either way, though, Chuck, remember that whoever gets the largest number of votes, doesn't matter how many people run, if someone gets 10% of the vote, all the others get 9% each, the one with 10% becomes governor. It's a very interesting different, and different kind of rule. Yeah. And what about Bill Simon, the man who sort of, you know, made a shot at right. the governor's office once before? What, what about his name in all this? Well, thing? he's got money. It also got some organization. But Bill Simon has been seen by a lot of people as having already failed uh, last time around. And many Republicans are actually urging him not to run. So he may run, but I don't think he's going to win, honestly, the other two run. I, I don't know if you know the answer to this, but do campaign finance laws come into play here, or can you just go ahead and spend whatever you need? Uh, it, I think in the special election, there's, or, there are no limits on spending. I'm, I'm not exactly certain on that, though. Uh, we have checked that it, it out. Believe, it, I uh, believe to have heard that. Yeah. And which, it, which means if that's the case, then yeah. all, all bets are off. Or, uh, or if there is a restriction, it may just be uh, on the Republicans. I think the incumbent is allowed to spend whatever necessary to hold the office. But, yes, you know, we'll, we'll check on Great Davis, right. yeah. yeah, right. Definitely. And it'd really be a blitz, too, because they only have 60 to 80 days, so whoever runs are just going to throw everything they got at it over the next month and a half right. or whatever. That's so true. Therefore, get out the vote is so important. Oh, yeah. If they can get the, their own supporters out of the polls, they win, whoever does that. You yes. know, we exclude the fact sometimes we kind of brush over it. I mean, there's also going to be some Democrats who are going to want that job. Who do you see likely there, and, and who has the um, best chance? I don't think any major Democrats will run. Uh, if, if, for example, Feinstein had decided to run, Diane Feinstein, she would have been the best candidate of all of them, and she would have won. But she's decided not to run, so I don't know if any, I don't think any big name Democrats will run, to be honest with you. They're trying to get Davis to hold a seat. And uh, if they don't run, then Davis has got a real problem. Uh, I mean, even if they don't run, he's got a problem because of Cruz Bustamante, maybe he may be taking the place. So it's very, very much up in the air. So the you thing. think that even if they see the writing on the wall, that Davis may not be able to retain the governor's mansion, you don't think they would slide somebody in there? In the very last minute, they've only got between two and 21 days, depending on when the election is called. So it could be as soon as, as quickly, a decision to be, has to be made as to well, who's going to run within one or two days if, if Bustamante calls the election at the beginning uh, of, I mean, the end of September. Uh -huh. If he gives them two more weeks, then there's more time for people to decide who's going to run. Yeah. So there's a time problem here as well, Chuck, in determining who will be able to slip in at the last minute, right. if they can get a Democrat in there or not. Yeah, the clock is running, Peter. Very exciting. We've got to keep an eye on it. That's okay. for sure. All yeah. right, thanks very much for joining us. In fact, My later pleasure. this morning, we should actually know what that date is going to be, so that'll sort of 10 o'clock, we're expecting up. that announcement. Of course, we'll bring it to you live when it happens. Still ahead here, tighter security in New York City after a shooting yesterday at the City Hall. Plus this.